Good morning, brothers and sisters. This is Brother Joe. So glad you joined me for home worship today. So now today is a day they call Valentine's Day. And people give gifts and uh, they show love to their loved one. You know, their husband, their wife, their boyfriend, their girlfriend, right? And so what I want to do is, is I want to show you a scripture before we get into the message. In Isaiah 54, 5, it reads, For your maker is your husband, the Lord of hosts, and your redeemer is the Holy One of Israel. He is called the God of the whole earth. Right, brothers and sisters? So if you are a Christian today, right, you took the Lord's name, Christ, Christian, right, as a wife takes a husband's name. And when we take the name of Christian, we need to love him more than anyone, anything on the earth or in the universe. Amen? Amen. And so with that, if you have your Bibles today, turn to the book of John, chapter 15, and we read verse 13 and 14. Greater love has no one than this, than to lay down one's life for his friends. You are my friends if you do whatever I command you. So this is Jesus, Yeshua talking here. That's how you say Jesus in Hebrew. And there's no greater love. Another scripture says, love covers a multitude of sins. And that was Jesus dying on a cross for you and me, brothers and sisters. Yeah, there's no greater love, no greater love. And so today, we need to celebrate the love that he did for us. Amen? Amen. And what? We need to show that love back as a wife would to her husband, as the scripture says, to submit to her husband, to respect her husband, and to obey her husband. And we need to do that. Because we are considered the virgin church that marries the groom, which is Jesus, who will come for us and take us out of this horrible world, right? And lift us up to heaven, to be with our Lord and Savior forever and ever. So celebrate that today, amen? Amen. So the second scripture we'll read today is in Matthew. Chapter 16, starting reading in verse 24. Then Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever desires to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Right? So he gave up his life on a cross for us. And we need to give up our life for him. Right? As he said in the first passage, obey him. Obey his commandments. What are his commandments? To love the Lord your God with all your soul, heart, mind, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. And all the commandments are fulfilled. We won't be stealing from people, lying to people, striking people. We will show love and compassion to our brothers and sisters. And most of all, love to our Lord and God. Amen? Amen. It's important to know that, you know, 
in the scripture Acts 17.30, it reads, In the times of this ignorance, God winked at. He's talking about the old time, the old covenant. But now commanded all men everywhere to repent, to change from their sinful ways. Now, the Pharisees, they wanted to keep the old Mosaic law. They would rather do sacrifices than accept Jesus, Yeshua, the sacrificial lamb, and have the new covenant. Because Jesus actually made it harder. If you look at a woman with lust in your eyes, you have committed adultery. If you're looking at her like you want to have sex with her, as if you are having sex with her, you've committed adultery. You see? They didn't want to accept that. They'd rather do sacrifices. Can you imagine? Hmm. And that'll happen someday. They'll build a new temple. And they'll perform sacrifices. Instead of accepting the ultimate sacrifice that Jesus did for you and me, and we just ask forgiveness when we sin, and he forgives us, praise God. How wonderful is that? For what? He says, be holy for I am holy. So we need to better ourselves daily, right? Daily. To get closer to God. We have to practice righteousness. And we will. And if you're filled with the Holy Spirit, brothers and sisters, you know that you are getting better daily. And you are working for that sanctification perfect with Christ. And you're getting better because you're seeking what God wants to please Him and do His will. Amen? Amen. But if you're not saved today or maybe you've backslid, you can get back into the kingdom. But it's not an easy fix. It's not just a prayer. You have to repent genuinely in your heart. And every day work on it. And once he feels you're worthy, that you have changed your sinful ways, he will fill you with the Holy Spirit and renew your mind completely and your heart completely in a pure, loving heart. The Lord says... In Matthew 5, if you do not have a pure heart, a pure loving heart, you won't see God. So you've got to have that. Ask God for more love every day. Ask Him for more Holy Spirit every day because that's love, Jesus in you. If you have Jesus in you, you have that love. And there's no greater love than the love that a man gave up his life for his friends. Amen? Amen. So keep striving to better yourself. Examine yourself every day. Brothers and sisters, things can, just a single thing can keep you out of heaven. One is forgiveness. He tells us if you do not forgive, he will not forgive you. Another is pride. If you're proud, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. The scripture in Philippians 2, 3, it tells us to let each one look upon others as they being better than you. That's being humble, amen? Yes. And that's what he's instructing us to do. So you need to do that. Just every day, look upon yourself, examine yourself. Sometimes somebody will minister to somebody. They'll see a flaw. And they're trying to help their brother or sister. You have to humble yourself to listen so that you make the proper changes to please your God and do as well. And we all have to read our Bible daily. That's how we find out what we need to do, how we can be close to Him. And we will be close to Him if you pray every day and you read every day and you follow the Spirit and not the flesh. Amen? Amen. And Galatians 5.22 tells us about the fruits of the Spirit. And it reads, The fruits of the Spirit is love, 
joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith. If you're saved today and you have the Holy Spirit in you, you will have all of these fruits of the Spirit. And if you're working towards being born again and being filled with that Holy Spirit, your loved ones around you will see the fruits of the Spirit in you as you progress to be worthy to receive the Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen. So brothers and sisters, remember, today is a new day and tomorrow will get better. Amen? Amen.